How are you doing today? I'm here with a different video and in today's video we have a mini PC, mini form factor PC. This one is a brand is Lenovo and it's a Think Center small form factor uh, PCs. All the Lenovo form factor PCs, Think Center, they are the same 99%. So in this video, what I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to upgrade the mechanical drive to an SSD drive. And the reason for it is the mechanical drive, it makes a bottleneck on the processor and on the RAM, pretty much slowing down the computer by about 80%, I would say. Uh, by upgrading it to an SSD drive, you pretty much removing this uh, bottleneck and the data speed is gonna be much faster. So you're gonna actually take advantage of the processor. In this case, the iCore 3, it could be iCore 5 or 7. You want to take advantage of the full processor speed when you upgrade to an SSD drive. And the SSD drives can be any brand, Kingston, Adata, Samsung. I would recommend you Samsung brand. They're more expensive, but they give you more and they will last you longer time. In today's video, a client brought it in a Kingston 480 gig SSD drive. And I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up, how to place the SSD drive. All right, before I continue, I wanna take a moment to uh, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and supporting with your comments and feedbacks. That really motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. So that's really much appreciated if you guys subscribe. Again, so to open this ones up, all you need to do at the back end, there's only one screw to remove. Some models, they have a screw like this one and the other one, some other models, they have a bigger screw right here. In this one, uh, what you need to do, get yourself a screwdriver. I'm using an iFixit tool set, a screw set. So we're gonna be using Phillips number zero. This screw set is one of the best. I really recommend it, I'll leave the link in the description. Now, we're gonna remove this screw right at the middle. So go ahead and remove this one. All right, once you remove the screws, most of these think centers, they open, the top cover has to go forward to the front side. So grab the bottom side, it divides into right here. So grab the bottom one and then slide it towards the front. So you wanna see this opening right there, just like that. So it's pretty much coming in two parts. Once you reach to the end and you cannot slide anymore, that's when you have to lift it up. All right, and now down here you can see the mechanical drive. This is a laptop mechanical drive. You wanna remove this screw right here and this screw right in front. So remove these two screws. All right, once you remove the screws, you wanna slide the hard drive with a caddy towards the fan. So you see that uh, gap opening right there? And now you can go ahead and lift it up. Once you lift it up, grab this one from here and then pull it backward. That's a SATA connector right here. Now we have the hard drive mounted on a caddy. You wanna put the PC to one side. Now, you wanna put the hard drives in the same position. So make sure these SATA connectors, they match. So you don't put this one the other way around. If even if you try, it will not go because the screw holes are at the bottom. So put it like this, the same place. And we're gonna remove the four screws from here and the hard drive should come down pretty easy. There is a missing screw on this one. I guess somebody opened it already. So try not to lose the screws. And then pick up the caddy, bring it over to the new one and place the screws right here. Remember by doing this, when you try to turn on the PC, it will not boot. It will say there's no uh, operating system available. So what you wanna do before doing this process, you wanna go to the link in my description to a Windows website and download the Windows Media Creator. And you wanna have at least a USB stick of 16 gig. You wanna insert the USB stick and using the Windows Media Creator, it will automatically download the Windows image into the USB and all you have to do, push it into the USB drive here and boot it up 
and it's going to read through the memory and you just have to follow simple instructions and you have your windows installed within i would say 20 minutes or less all right now that we have the hard drive mounted on the caddy you want to plug in the sata connector right there push it all the way down bring it in an offset position push it all the way down and then it slide it backward make sure it goes right through this hinges now put the last two screws right here and i really hope this video helped you guys out and if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a comment and i'll always try to answer questions that you guys leave and the last thing would be to grab the top cover put it down in an offset position that you removed and then bring two parts together and the last thing will be to push the last screw at the back and again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video